Hello everyone, it's Marie here from Pebbly Rose Paper Crafting. Today I'm going to show you a lawn fawn card using the Hay There stamp set and I'm focusing on the cow and I'll be using the matching Hay There dies as well as the puffy cloud borders from Lawn Fawn. So I'm using basic black cardstock and I've just cut an A6 in half and squatted in half again. And with that piece there, I made my own slider using my Silhouette Cameo machine. And I'm just sticking that middle cutout part because I am going to sponge over the top of that as well and be using that as part of my track. I've also made a moon with uh, Daffodil Delight cardstock and I'm just using some Pineapple Punch ink to sponge all around my uh, moon. And I'm just going to stick those two layers together. And then what I'm going to do is just sponge around all of the sides again so that the colours all look the same. And that's my moon. So I love that moon and I created that with my Silhouette Cameo. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some sponging using some sponges. And I'm going to just sponge all of the Stampin' Up! in colours, which is Pineapple Punch, Lovely Lipstick, Grapefruit Grove, Blueberry Bushel and... Uh, call me clover I'm just doing some random sponging I don't care about that it doesn't blend out hundred percent that's okay because that's kind of the look I'm going for for this particular card and I'm just trying to do like a night scene galaxy um, background for that um, panel there so I'm just um, sponging all the different colors there and I accidentally got a bit of green onto my ink pad my brand new ink pad so I'm spewing so anyway I've just got some lovely lipstick there which is a nice red um, pink color and I'm just sponging randomly all around whatever I think looks good um, it looks like a hot mess there but it will turn out really nice in the end so I'm just um, yeah just going back with some more colors as I see fit and then I'm going to um, grab my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I'm just going to sponge all around the bla in black to try and darken up the, um, the colours there. But um, yeah, I think my ink pad is due for an, a re-inking so um, it's not as intense as I'd hoped with the black. But in the end, I'm quite happy with what I'm going to do next with it because I think it works out better. So you'll see me just sponging black, black everywhere. And then um, I'm going to finish with that and I'm going to use my blueberry bushel ink instead. And I'm going to just sponge with that and I think it turns out much better and less harsh than the black. And I think all the colours meld together really, really nicely. And I like how you can see pops of colours underneath all of that. So it looks really pretty. I love that. And the moon on top there looks amazing. So I'm just cleaning up my craft sheet. And I'm going to use my Misty tool to stamp the cow image. And I'm going to do that right now on some Whisper White cardstock. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to colour it in with some watercolours. Um, I'm going to invest in some alcohol markers one of these days eventually, but um, I'm going to use my watercolour pencils. And I'm just going to start off with a grey colour for the horns and a caramel brown colour. And I'm just roughly laying on some colours onto that image. Um, and what I like about this is that uh, it doesn't have to be very like precise at this stage and I'm just using a darker brown for the hooves and for the mouth nose area I'm just using like a fleshy pink color and I'm using my lovely blender pen from Stampin' Up! I love that thing and I'm just you know smoothing out that color now and in between each color I clean my blender pen to make sure that I don't cross contaminate colors and it looks fantastic I really love the way this looks it looks great and so I'm just laying on some extra color now just for some shading so you'll see me just putting a line there of color and I'll be blending that out so it'll look nice so it just provides a bit of shading and I like I'm, I'm actually enjoying coloring in images these days and before I was avoiding it like a plague but I'm just venturing out into doing that now and I by no means am I an expert because I'm not I'm really hopeless at it <laughs> So I'm just adding some more grey and I'm just going to blend that out and, and it looks nice. I really love that look. So I finished now colouring the 
um, <coughs> excuse me, the cow, and I'm just going to use my Big Shot to cut it out. And I'm very sorry, I'm still in a close-up mode, but once I finish cutting that, I will um, pan out again. <laughs> so sorry about that. So anyway, the cow has been uh, cut out with the matching dye, and now I'm getting my Puffy Cloud Border die and I'm just going to cut out a couple of borders of clouds so I love the stitching uh, detail with these uh, dies it's one of my favorite things about lawn fawn is the fact that they've got some stitching details they look so cute and just so cool I love it that looks great so now I'm going to bring out my card base and I'm just going to do a quick layout of um, how it will all look so I'm just um, taking out all the painters tape and um, that middle part now kind of blends in with the background so that will be the track for my um, sliding component I'm just laying that out with the moon there and I think that looks pretty good so I'm just going to um, sponge some memento ink all over the cloud just so it doesn't look so white and stark just so it does look like it's a bit you know a nighttime scene as well because I've got the cow jumping over the moon there and it'll look super cute I love this so anyway, it's an idea that I have in my head. Um, you'll probably execute it better yourselves, but I did struggle with this a little bit. <laughs> um, I cut out um, a disc of um, six one-inch circles, and and um, that was meant to be my slider, but I didn't end up using that in the end. So what I'm doing now is just spritzing some water, and I'm just blotting off that water just to bring out like a galaxy... Um, scene and like stars so you'll see a close-up of this in a moment I'm just blotting that off and that, look how it turned out it's just beautiful close-up so I went to um, my heat tool and I dried that up and now I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of this panel as I was doing this um, I realized stupidly that I had put the dimensionals too close to where the sliding part is so I pulled them off and um, sort of started this whole thing again but in the end I didn't use dimensionals you'll see later on that I end up using the uh, 3m foam tape which I think it's dimensional adhesive I think that worked out better but I wasted a whole heap of dimensionals in the process and with that disc I ended up not using that in the end as well because it just did not work out it just doesn't have the same weight as a washer or a coin for you to be able to use it as a slider and it didn't work very well and um, in the end yeah this this part is a bit pointless but I'm going to show it to you anyway and I'm just pulling off now all of the the backings and I find out the hard way and I'm fiddling around with this and it gets um, you can have a laugh at my expense really <laughs> it was very funny the way it turned out but I'm happy I went through the process and I will show you anyway um, as, luckily this is all quick um, so I'm putting that panel together now and then I'm going to slide in my uh, sliding piece as well and I'm just giving that a bit of a trim off the excess cardstock there and I'm going to use a small piece of um, dimensional enough not for it to impede on the the movement of the the cow but I find it's a little sticky and then stupidly I forgot to put that middle part there inside so I had to take out the slide up put that in and use my tweezers to you know bring it down and yeah and then I'm going to put the slider part in I'm going to put the cow on there again I'm going to use my embossing buddy just to get rid of any stickiness there to stop that um, thing from sticking and had to put an extra piece of um, adhesive there and it still wasn't working so in the end I decided to use a washer so I brought out a washer and put two dimensionals together cut that in half and then I'm just fiddling around now with the backings some of them were very hard to take off I don't know why but they were a bit hard sorry about the plain noise background in the meantime I really struggled with this today it was a shocker it was terrible this video was meant to be an hour and 14 minutes it was terrible so in the end I got out my um, 
my foam tape and I'm so glad I got that out <laughs> it worked out better in the end but I still stuff this up as I said I've been fiddling around with this all you know fiddling around with it and um, it just was not working no matter what yeah and in the end I was finding that the backings were awful so I had to pull it out all of those dimensionals off and so now I'm just getting some foam tape and I'm sticking it together and I'm doing like a double layer of foam tape so it gives nice dimension so I'll cut this down to size cut that in half and then I'm just going to um, position that right round that back panel and I'm glad I did that because that works out well in the end so I'm really pleased with how it turns out in the end but it took a while to get there <laughs> so and all these little bits will come in handy and you'll see just looks out better and this time I learned not to put it too close to where the spinning device will be <laughs> and a washer um, you know you can try and use little discs of um, cardstock like I've got there with and I put six uh, one inch circles one on top of the other but in the end it wasn't heavy enough and I think a washer works a lot better so that's what I got a washer or a coin works kind of the same so that's what I'm doing there and I'm doing the same thing I've got a double piece there and I'm just going to stick that onto the washer I'm just taking off all the backings now from my foam tape and um, yeah I did cut out quite a bit the, the, where I struggled really just wasted a lot of time and I know you don't have a lot of time so yeah so I'm just going to stick now that panel to the front of the card and it looks really good and I'm going to put my little washer there I'm just getting rid of any um, adhesive that may impede on its um, you know movement and now I'm just going to put the cow there and it works well I'm just going to put the moon there now I'm going to stick that down I think that yeah I'm just going to stick that down and now I'm going to put the cloud borders and just position them where I think they will look good and now I'm just going to um, sponge a little bit more of the memento ink and I'm going to now stick it down there with some glue I like my PVA glue and with that um, cloud piece the second border there I'm just going to use some foam tape again and I'm just using those bits and pieces that I had cut out earlier and then I just cut one more I'm using non-stick scissors for this and that works out really really well okay so I'm taking off all the backing now I'm going to stick that down there maybe a little bit further down and you'll see me trimming that off now and it turns out great so I still struggle with this bit and then I put the cow a little bit further up so it wasn't hitting the moon as it was going around so what I decided in the end was the, the cow needed a little bit more reinforcement so I um, put on three I had die cut before uh, another couple of cows so I what I did was I cut them you know I put them one on top of the other and that just gave a little bit more stability for the cow and then I put a glue dot um, on the sliding piece again on the washer and now it works really well I'm going to be using my misty tool and I'm going to stamp the hey there um, sentiment from the stamp set using memento tuxedo black ink and then I'm going to cut it out with the classic label punch from Stampin' Up and you'll see me trimming that up with this uh, punch and uh, putting that onto the um, top right hand horn corner in the end of the card so I'm just uh, narrating a little in advance but I just wanted to thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed um, this video if you like these kind of videos please let me know um, so I can continue on 
and um, I really appreciate you stopping by. Thanks again and I'll see you very soon. Bye.